Fora TV. The world is thinking. Stuart Shulska in Denver at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel, where we are for the Democratic National Convention. Trevor Mazza and myself went down to Mezcal Restaurant on East Colfax in Denver for a brunch celebrating the release of the film Gospel Hill, directed by Giancarlo Esposito. Gave us the opportunity to talk to a few of the artists involved with the film, including the director and one of the stars, Giancarlo Esposito, along with uh, Danny Glover and a couple of those involved. The film also stars Julia Stiles and Angela Bassett, and the event was hosted by the Creative Coalition. Great opportunity to have some conversations about the relevance of this film, which deals with issues of racial division uh, and in the context of the current election. And uh, we hope you all go check it out, and we'll look forward to bringing you some more later this week. The film is really about healing. It's about change. It's about past and present. The story is very profound. Everyone asks me if it's a true story because I've taken it from the, the pages of history. Uh, but it really is a different movie. People who see the film uh, say, well, we're going to see a film about the civil rights movement. I said, no, you're not. You're going to see a film about people who've been affected by it and still carry the pain of it. But it's really about moving into the future. There are some great characters in the film, a sheriff who looked the other way when a very prominent civil rights leader was gunned down many, many years ago. And he's um, a bigot and still a racist, but that's what he knew. That's what he grew up with. And there's some profound found scenes in the movie where he says, you know, his son approaches him and says, well, you know what, who's the nigger now? You know, you're always placing blame on someone else. And he says, do you think I want to feel this way? That's what the movie's about. He really would like to feel something else, but peer pressure and years and years of conditioning and what we've learned have, have not allowed him to break out of that. He says, I want to feel someone else, something else. And, uh, and I think it's what the movie's about. Well, the reason why I brought the film Gospel Hill to the DNC was because I'm mixed race as well. And I believe that the message is twofold. It's to stop hating and to stop even carrying the burden of anger of the past. Uh, and, and it's to look to a new visionary way of guiding our country into a new day, which is really about human beings. And I feel like this 2008 election uh, really coincides with what the message of Gospel Hill is saying. We need to move on because we have other issues of environment, we have issues of health care, we have issues of morality, we have issues, issues of spirituality. And I feel like someone that can get beyond the, the racial uh, problem uh, that will always maybe exist because people are different than each other. It doesn't have much to do with color. It has to, uh, more to do with how how we are different than each other. Acceptance and uh, compassion and love will change the face of the earth. And it'll, it'll help us understand more about our environment and more about each other. The, the country, some people in the country say, we're not ready for a black president yet. But th th that is such a, a very old and very antiquated way of thinking. We're ready for a new leadership without colorless, colorblind. And I think we're on our way to that now. Well, I think for me as a filmmaker making the film, I was affected a lot by what we were about to come to. And uh, this film almost had a violent ending. And I realized that you know, if I had a violent ending on the movie, it would really um, kill the hope. And I'm glad I didn't because I wouldn't be here if I had a violent ending. I decided that I wanted to leave people with a hopeful moment, uh, a moment where people said, oh, something can be different. It's not about this. And one of the main characters of my film, Jack Herod, who's a white man, is begging to to break out of that skin. The other character, Danny Glover, who is a black man who is carrying the weight of pain of his father's death for so many years, breaks out of his skin. Transformation. I think it's eminent in our society, it's eminent in our own beings, and I think it can happen. Um, I think we really want to be people who uh, are um, helping each other and moving each other to the next level. And I think the time is now, and it's, it's, it's for the people, by the people. And I think the majority of the people want change, and, and we're here to support that change. What, uh, what is your relationship to the Creative Coalition and to this film? Well, um, I, I was at the last Democratic Convention uh, as a delegate with Creative Coalition. I've worked with them for a few years, and uh, they do really very good work in supporting um, arts le legislation. And Giancarlo Esposito, I worked with on Broadway, um, a few years back in a play called Sacrilege, and uh, I'm a great admirer of, of his work. He's an amazing actor. Uh, would, would, would you speak for one moment just to what his particular talent is, what, his, uh, what you think his, his genius is? Well, he's, he's an actor. He has the ability to uh, step into another human being's shoes and become that person temporarily. 
and that's basically what an actor does and it takes a lot of empathy for the character to be able to do that and that's why so many actors are um, Democrats or liberals because of, of that empathy they're not they're not people who have a kind of me first policy you know uh, in their attitude toward life and John, Don Carlo is a very kind and compassionate and empathic person and that shows in his work both in film and now I mean in uh, acting and now in directing what, what does the Creative Co Coalition hope to accomplish in Denver being present at events like the Democratic National Convention? Well, to meet with the congressmen and the people who are involved in, uh, in the government and uh, where we might need to lobby for arts legislation. There is very little support for the arts in this administration, uh, not anywhere near as much as there has been in the past in other administrations. So. Um, we hope to encourage more support for the arts in the future. And you're welcome. Sorry. Thanks very much. I was going to say in a, oh, in a yeah. Barack Obama administration. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're not you're not being shy. About, you're not being shy about your endorsement. No, no, not at all. No, I'm all for him, I, and I'm so happy he picked Joe Biden as a running mate. S speak about that for one second. What do you think about the Biden pick? Why are you happy about it? I was o hoping he'd pick Joe Biden because of his enormous foreign policy experience and he's you know he speaks his mind you never walk away from Joe Biden saying I wonder what he really thinks and um, I think in Washington all of the spontaneity we can get is welcomed is there anybody that John McCain could pick that would get you to give him your vote no <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> quick question why are you passionate about this film Gospel Hill well, I, I, first of all, I, I, I think uh, that uh, Giancarlo Esposito uh, uh, did something very special. He got a film made. And he got a film made about a subject that often people, uh, this is what they call in the business a soft film. So it's going to take a lot of energy, a lot of discussion. It's the kind of film that you're going to have to be passionate about doing and passionate about getting done, getting people out to see it. That's how this is going to work. But it's a very, it's a, it's a common story. It's a story that we don't often find too much. We may often look at the personal dilemma, the personal dilemma of people, but what is the collective manifestation of that? How does that collect, that personal dilemma manifest itself in what is happening, what is happening for a period of time in this country's history? If we trace Malcolm, if we trace my, 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 my life and my father's life, we see a part of a, a struggle, a part of a, ch a struggle for change in this country. What did that change represent? Was it real change? Was it substantive change? Or did it, re did it represent something else? What did it do in terms of di disinvested, di disinvesting or, 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 and from, from communities within the, in the Northeast and other country, communities that were manufacturing cities, small manufacturing cities, Passaic, New York. We can name a list of them. Um, um, uh, Michael Moore talks about that from the town he's from in Michigan. And you know, in these cities, they were manufacturing cities, good paying union jobs. These jobs were now outsourced, or these companies moved south where labor was cheaper, where there was a right to work, there were no unions, and what happened where they would, those, those jobs built communities and those jobs left and went overseas. That's the history of that. What is the social fabric and what is the, in, what is the life of individuals around that? Whether they're white, they're black, they're part of a community. And that's, I think this film is very important to look at this, especially now. Especially now when we talk about what does it happen, what is happening in our community. What do we mean in the 21st century of building communities, communities that are prosperous, jobs that, are, 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 that provide living wages, and jobs that, are, that, are, um, um, uh, 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 that build families. Thank you, so, thank you so much. And one more quick question. Uh, what do you think of Joe Biden as pick for vice president? Um, I don't know uh, enough about Joe Biden, Biden but, uh, but I've, I've, uh, I've, uh, there are occasions that when I've uh, seen him in the past and talk, I think, I think it's, a, it's, it's a good choice. I, I would have to believe it's a good choice because I'm going to go out there and campaign for it <laughs> as a ticket. So I believe it's a good choice. We hope you enjoyed that. We will be coming to you with a number of interviews and other great programs throughout the convention week, and we're looking forward to sharing those with you. And if I didn't mention it already, we love the Ritz-Carlton.